So today, I'm going to have a look at the Gardenia Park Hotel Carver Hall in the holiday resort of Fuengarola. Looking at its location, what's near it, and if it's the holiday hotel for you. Then let's have a look at a few price options for a week's stay. Looking at tour operators, travel agents, comparison website, and booking it yourself. Keep watching until the end of this episode, and I will show you, a simple hack, I use to avoid paying these high prices and finding the best deals in the UK market. For me, one of the most important considerations is the location, so that's a good place to start. The hotel is situated in Carvajal, which is at the top end of the resort of Fuengarola in Spain's Costa del Sol. It's right next to the beach and 7km promenade. The beaches are good quality clean and sandy and are maintained daily. The majority of the beaches here hold the iconic Blue Flag Award for excellence. There are a few bars and restaurants close to the hotel, and the chiringuitos on the beach are all excellent, most serve the local delicacy, grilled sardines, they smell and taste delicious. I will leave a link at the end of this video that goes more in depth into this area and the resort as a whole. The Gardenia, is a three-star hotel with 230 rooms, most overlooking their gardens and the Mediterranean Sea. It's a nine-minute walk from Tora Blanca train station, which is handy for getting to and from the airport. The bus stop is right outside the front of the hotel if you want to visit Torre Molinos or Benel Madina. If you want to take the bus to Fuengarola the bus stop is just across the road. Rooms at the hotel are bright and airy, with a private terrace. They all have a satellite TV and seasonal air conditioning, available from June to September. There are swimming pools inside and out. The outside pool has a bar serving drinks and snacks throughout the day. During the summer months there are aquarobic sessions. There is also a jacuzzi and sauna. There are plenty of sunbeds around the pool and in the gardens if you want to work on that tan. The hotel restaurant offers buffet-style meals from breakfast to evening. The food is generally European, there are all-inclusive, half-board and breakfast packages to choose from, when booking your holiday. The restaurant area is clean and spacious that extends outside. It serves a large variety of food which changes daily. For the kids, the hotel has a children's swimming pool, and a play area. There are daily activities for children, and a short distance away is the beach. The reception area is situated at the entrance of the hotel and is open 24-7. This is an excellent three-star hotel, in a good location, with good facilities, close to the train station and bus stop for days out and excursions. There is also a restaurant across the road which is a hidden gem, Bistro Michel. It's one of the locals' secrets. The food is exceptional and the prices are very reasonable. But you will have to book way in advance. So, let's have a look at the price to stay in the Gardenia Park in March 2023. The best way to find the cheapest dates is to go on Ryanair's website, and check out the flights for the whole month. This will speed up finding the cheapest holiday deal later. It takes just a few minutes and can save hundreds of pounds. So set the parameters to 1st of March to the 8th. Set your destination say East Midlands and the destination airport is Malaga. That's the main airport that serves the Costa del Sol. Right let's have a look. The cheapest flights for the 7 days in March are 20th to the 27th, coming in at £74 per person, so remember those dates, I'm going to save the 24th to the 27th just to show why I go on Ryanair's website first. That's £142 per person, also I have just seen the prices for 2nd of April to the 9th. That's a school holiday and it's coming in at a whopping £309 per person. So I will compare that as well. This is the travel supermarket comparison website I'm using. Makes no difference which holiday website you use, you have the best dates, for the best deals, now. 
I will leave a link in the description below with travel agents, tour operators, and comparison websites. So you can have a look yourself. These are the prices for a week at the Gardenia from the 20th to the 27th of March 2023. These are the best prices for the month. I should point out now that, Jet 2 Holidays has transfers and luggage built into the price, where the others don't. So there will be additional costs onto, Love Holidays, on the beach and Sunshine Holidays onto the prices shown. Now let's have a look at the identical holidays four days later. Big difference, big savings, and it's a lot quicker than flicking through random dates on holiday sites. But now I'm really going to put your head in a tailspin. Let's have a look at the school holiday prices. At first glance it's, yes, okay, school holiday prices. But have a closer look. Jet 2 is all inclusive. And we know the luggage and transfers are already included. When you add the extra charges on Blue Sea Holidays it comes out at £837 each, Love Holidays is £929 each, and the rest are about the same with the add-ons. It makes Jet 2 look like an amazing deal, and it is. They all fly out on the same plane. And it's Jet 2. Finally, let's have a look at the accommodation websites. Expedia and Hotel.com had nothing for those dates. So it's just Booking.com on this one. The prices came in the same for both dates at £658 or £329 each. That's without flights, luggage and transfers. The school holiday price was £1,130 or £565 each. I think that shows what a good price the Jet 2 deal was. But for the holiday deal from the 20th to the 27th, Love Holidays won hands down. Adios, for now, and, thanks for watching.